Hi, in this video, I'll talk about how you can get started in uh, programming or coding. So if you have not um, coded in your life, this video is for you. And uh, or if you have started coding, but you know, uh, there was some obstacle and you stopped after some time, uh, then maybe this approach uh, can help you. I'll talk about a small approach that has helped me. Also, um, the resources which are there now, there are hundreds of resources online, but which are the good ones? and how much time you have to invest and which language can help you get started. I'll, I'll cover those points. So let's get started. First point uh, to really understand is that coding is not a very difficult skill or it's not a skill you have to be uh, fearful about, right? Anybody can learn coding. It's just about very basic logic, right? So if you're a logical person and uh, if you can do just step one, step two, step three and really understand what is going on, and also persevere right coding uh, sometimes become very difficult because it requires a lot of patience so if you can follow this basic discipline i think coding is something you can definitely achieve now uh, first point to remember here is that coding is very practical skill it's not a theoretical skill it's a skill that you will develop only when you uh, really do it so learning by doing like for Learn 21 also the motto is learning by doing. So coding is perfectly learning by doing. It's like swimming or, you know, driving a car. You cannot uh, learn swimming without just, you know, doing it. If you just look at other people swimming, you will not learn. So similarly coding, if you just watch videos or talk to people who are uh, coders, you will not learn. You have to really get your, get your hand dirty and, uh, you know, build something, code, and then only you will learn. Second thing I'll say is have a clear uh, objective or motivation, right? Why you want to learn? Uh, what helped me was uh, I had to make a project. So I am not from coding background. I'm like, I did not study computer science. Uh, but what helped me learn coding was I had a project that I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to make it. And because of that, um, you know, learned everything. There were a lot of obstacles, but cross those obstacles because that project was very important to me. So have that strong reason. A lot of people start um, learning with, you know, as a hobby. Um, they, they learn for a day or two and then they just leave because they hit some roadblock, right? But if you have a strong reason uh, to, you know, complete, then uh, then you will, you know, just stay with it, right? It, it requires some perseverance. So have a strong reason, some idea that you have or some project or for your own work, you want to do something or somebody has given you a task. So have that strong reason um, to learn. Then a third point I will say, start small. Right? Coding can get very complicated. And sometimes I've seen people recommending uh, projects like create a game. Right, Creating a game is a very complicated project for a beginner even for an um, you know advanced uh, programmer so don't take such complicated projects start with small snippets small lines right um and if you go to these websites which i will recommend like w3 schools or code academy there you can just write small small line and see the the response so coding is nothing but input and output right so there you can write some input and, and see the output so that will help you build some understanding what is going on right it's, it's nothing rocket science but Start small, it will give you motivation also that yeah, you are making some progress and uh, and then you will uh, move ahead, right? Uh, fourth point, I think uh, we have already talked. It's, it's a practical skill. It takes time. It takes patience, perseverance. So to practice daily, right? You have to practice two, three hours daily uh, after your work hours or, or before them or if you are a student, then after you know, uh, after your classes, etc. You have to have to code, right? There is no other way. Just watching videos or YouTube or from Udemy, um, it, it will not help. You have to get your hands dirty and, and have the discipline of, you know, every day spending some hours uh, doing it. Now let's talk about the resources. There are plenty plethora of resources now online. When we were getting started like 10 years back, there were not so many. But uh, good ones, of course, W3 Schools is is good one for web. Code Academy is good for other languages. Uh, then um, YouTube has a lot of uh, videos, right? And uh, you have to, um, a free code camp is very good. Like there's a video uh, uh, website also. So, but again, you have to really uh, start uh, with 
you know installing in your computer also whatever programming language you are running like run that we call in programming is locally you have to run that um code locally and, and understand right uh, uh final thing is the language right so the first step that you can take so i would say start with the easiest language right and python is is like the number one um, player there the easiest and also very uh, very powerful also it's not that it's easy so it does not have all the features and and later on you can specialize right but i think python solves a lot of uh, use cases like if you want to build a website you can do that if you want to uh, really do automation you can do that right so python uh, is also good for machine learning data science so if you want to do that kind of a project again uh, python will help or the another language maybe is javascript uh, which will help in in web it's a good programming language for beginners and and get started yeah i think this is it have that understanding that it is very practical skill so just remove any fear of coding just do the coding and if you don't want to install go to these websites and and code something just through five six lines and you will you will find that have clear objective having a project or some idea that you want to accomplish that will help you when you hit roadblocks and and you will hit a lot right uh, programming is is in the start will be a very uh, challenging thing but after one two months i think you will understand it start small get the basics right uh, there's no point in programming of just cramming things right just about understanding what is happening chat gpt is also a good tool i would say now to learn uh, programming so each code snippet just put in chat gpt and say explain this so chat gpt will come with uh, some explanation right uh, what is happening that is very good learning tool actually and uh, do it practically every day two three hours right and resources have already covered so yeah this is it um, mostly wanted to share how you can get started in your coding journey i, I wish you all the best and and for uh, more such videos uh, please uh, like share and subscribe thank you